This is Ubiquiti's ULTE Pro, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how this works and how to get it set up. Hey everyone, my name is Monty, and welcome back to Inside Wire. So this little product has been out for a little while, so let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into it and what it does. Let's open up the packaging and take a look inside. We're greeted with the LTE Pro device, which is this right here, and we can slip it straight out of the packaging. It has a 1.54 inch display on the front. It has an adapter to add external antennas onto this. So if you find where you've seated it currently is not enough signal, you can go ahead and pop this in here. It has a one gig ethernet port at the bottom, which is requires PoE plus to get powered. And it has a secondary port on it also as well. And then we have a nano SIM card slot just at the bottom here to pop your SIM card in. You can actually bring any SIM card you want into here. You just need to pop it in this slot right there. We have some instructions on how to get it set up and what you need to do. There's also a SIM card removal tool on here. And then underneath we have a stand. So you have two different ways you can set this up. You can either set it on here and sit it on the stand like so, so it can sit like this. Or we have this little device here, which we can screw or add onto the wall, and you can go ahead and pop your device on here. So you have a few different options right there. And I didn't notice this, but you actually do get an extra sticky pad in here if you ever take this off and it's not sticky enough anymore. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and plug this into the main socket like so, and we'll pop that in, screw the cable back in, and then we can pop this back on. So it's sat properly. And there we go, that's now sat there and you can see that powering up. You can see the U logo that's just appeared on there. And while this is booting up, let's head over to the computer and take a look at how to get this configured and what options there are. Now we have this plugged in, you can see the range of devices behind me and we just need to click adopt and we set up the LTE Pro. And at this point it tells you there's no SIM card available. So we're gonna go ahead and pop a SIM card in here. Once you've popped the SIM card in, you go ahead and re-adopt it again and we can see right here that it is adopting the ULTE Pro. We're then greeted with the verification of your carrier information, so just pop in your APN address, and then we can go ahead and stick a data limit on here, so for now I'm gonna put in a one gig data limit, so once it does that, it will no longer use the mobile data. We then choose which networks we want this to be on, so we just want it to be on the default network for now, no other networks, but if you do have multiple networks, this is where you get it set up. We click next and now it's going to go off and update the firmware and just to show you while we're waiting what that looks like. So it says ready LTE right there. So we have full signal and we'll be able to put this to the test when the firmware is complete. So the LTE Pro is now up to date. We have an uptime. We have the memory usage. It has all the information down here, whether you have an external antenna added or PoE pass through enabled, what the ULTE IP address is. And then some more information further down, like the IMEI number, what network operator you're using, and more importantly, what data limits you're using down here. It also shows you what parent device you're connected to. So I'm currently connected straight into a 24 port switch. Keep in mind, this does not go into a WAN port. This goes into a LAN port. We take a look at the insights and we have the system statistics here. So we have the CPU and RAM, and then we go into the settings. So you can give it a name. Here is the toggle right here where you can choose whether you want an external antenna connected or PoE parcel enabled. So you don't actually have to have that enabled. That's just something that's there. You can turn that off if you want. What the address is, the authentication type, and this is where you set your data limits. So you have your limits right at the front just here. And if you wanna change them, you go into the settings and there's some data limits just down here. If you wish to give it a static IP address or use the network override function, that is also here as well. If you wanna update the firmware, locate it, restart it, remove it, all that's also along here. Let's now go and put this to the test. So we're gonna ping Google's DNS server. So we're just gonna let that ping run and I'm gonna step away from my desk and quickly go and get the internet cable unplugged. And if I scroll back up, you can see that only two pings dropped. So I pulled my internet connection, dropped two pings, and then the 4G backup kicked in straight away. So if I go to the LTE Pro, you can see that that is there and it's active at this point. You can see I can go to bbc.co.uk and it loads if we try and do a speed test. So we'll let that run. And there we go, there's the upload and download speed. So 61 meg down and 19 up. So not bad for an LTE connection. You can get better by adding an external antenna and popping it outside, but that's another story for another video. Now that it's active, we run our ping again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the WAN connection back in and you'll see the LTE backup 
that's active will soon disappear. And there we go, that's now switched back and you can see the ping went from about 35 to 40 sec milliseconds all the way down to 15, 16. So we know that that's no longer active. And if we refresh this, let this reload again, and that's now refreshed and you can see now the LTE Pro, the usage is 214 megs, just running that speed test, and that is no longer active. So let's go back now and have a quick look at the networks that we have. So if we pop across to settings, and if I go to internet. Now, if you wanted to add another network into this, so just keep in mind that the secondary WAN is disabled as well. So you can use two WAN ports and then your 4G LTE backup. Let's jump into the networks and you can see there is an LTE one right here. So if I click on another network and there'll be an option on here, right at the top, I seem to have missed it. So it says you LTE backup. So we can tick that and we can say, right, we want the backup for that network. Now, if I go back to the internet connection again, you can see it now says two of six. So you can configure this to choose whatever network that you want to have the backup on. If there's something a little bit more critical than something else, you can go ahead and select the network accordingly. I hope you found this video useful. There's a link to the product down in the description below. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.